As I'm currently taking pride in making really, really quick tutorials at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this one. This one is how to use MapKit for iOS, and we're gonna create a super simple iOS app where basically we create a full screen map and uh, so it will automatically detect the user's location and zoom into it, which is pretty nifty. Um, if you ask me. So I've actually already started up Xcode and of course because we're not novices here we're gonna go with empty application. If you're new to the empty application then don't be afraid it's not that bad I promise. Um, this is gonna be called MapKit Demo and we're just gonna go ahead and hit next and start it up. MapKit How To, I've already made a folder. Streets Ahead, right let's full screen this and get going. So first and foremost as always Let's get rid of this horrible self.window.background color code, which will make our window white. And go ahead and create a new file in the MapKit demo folder. Uh, and we're going to create a class, and it's going to be a UI view controller. And this is going to be our MK view controller. So let's go with that, and then hit next. Uh, that's going to cr let's create it in the MapKit demo folder. Keep everything nice and neat. And uh, let's do some bare bones uh, stuff just to get the ball rolling on this one. So in our implementation, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in view did load, call the super method, and I'm going to set the background color to a lovely brown. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, now that we've uh, oh no I'm not uh, because I spelled color wrong. My bad. Um, Okay, so now that we've actually got our uh, map view controller, we're actually just going to keep everything in one controller today. Um, I'm going to rush over to my app delegate. You've probably done this a million times before, and I'm going to go. I'm going to import my root view controller, which in this ha case just so happens to be MK view controller H. Thank you, autocomplete. Let's create an institute, uh, uh, an instance of that MK view controller. I'm going to call it root VC because this is our root view controller. View controller. A look init and then let's go self dot window set root view controller to root VC and that should be everything to get our to get the show on the road. Um, let's just uh, run that just to make sure it works okay. I always like checking at this point because otherwise I fall down a trap where I get paranoid about my code. Yep, lovely brown screen so we can get rid of that. We don't need that background color anymore. What we do need, however, is we do need map kit. Now at the moment, you can't actually do that straight out of the box. We have to go to the map kit demo or to your uh, project tab, click on the little plus on the linked frameworks and libraries, search for map, and there we have a map kit dot framework where we're going to click add, and now we have map kit framework over here, which if, if you've done everything correctly, should be just there. So let's go over to our uh, MK view controller, and in our header, we're going to go import Open angle brackets, MK, sorry, it's map kit, forward slash map kit dot H. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and create ourselves a property, which is strong, non atomic, and this is going to be of the MK map view class, and we're going to call it map view, because we're going to be using this all the time. We're going to be using it from different methods, so we want to keep things nice and neat. While we're also in this header, I'm also going to go ahead and set the delegate because we're going to be doing everything in this one view controller today. So let's go MK map view delegate. And there we go. We're all set. We don't need to worry about anything else. So let's get our map kit. Let's get our map on the go first and foremost. So let's go self dot map view, the property that we've just set up. And let's define that. Let's get it set up. So let's go self dot map view equals MK map view. MK map MK map view a look and in it let's in it actually let's in it with frame and I'm gonna create a rectangle I'm gonna put it at zero and zero in terms of coordinates and I'm gonna go self dot view dot bounds dot size dot width for the width and self dot view dot bounds dot size dot height now in case you you're a little bit lost here or you're not sure exactly what I just did basically uh, CG rec make that creates the x coordinate that creates the y coordinate this is the width and this is the height I've set the x and y coordinates to the bottom left or top right depending on uh, where the CA layers uh, set up um, but it should be bottom left in this case 
um, and I've set the width to the back to the size of the view which is going to be the full screen I've set the height to the height of the view which again because the view is taking up the entirety of the screen at the moment because it's the root view it's going to take up the entirety of the screen so that's our map view actually set up that's literally all the code we need to actually get it set up I can run this and you will see a map no you won't you won't see a map um, because I haven't added it to the view for A yet. So before we do anything else and get hasty just like I just did, we're going to go self.view, add subview, self.mapView, and that will add our map view subview to our uh, to our root view. And when we run it, uh, we should now see a map, which we do. Uh, now our map's all very well and good and everything, uh, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, when we actually set the location to Apple, nothing happens. We don't know where we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually change that. So first and foremost, if you're running this on a, uh, if you're running this on your own phone or you're running it from anything other than the simulator, we're going to set this up for you. We're going to set self .map view and we're going to set set shows user location there it is so we're going to want to uh, set shows user location to yes and what that will effectively do is do exactly what it says on the tin which is show user location um, so let's go ahead and run that and we should now see our user location there we go it's asking for our current location obviously i'm on a computer and it doesn't know that so let's change our debug to apple and now all being well there's our dot. There, there we are. Because we are shown, we because we literally just entered in set shows user location. We can now see ourselves. Only trouble is, is I mean I've got to zoom in like a million times before we actually get there, which is no use to me. Um, this is where we actually call up the delegate, um, and we're gonna go ahead and set a pragma mark, uh, which is our MK map view delegate methods. And these are our methods, which are obviously going to be set just from our MK map view uh, delegate. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set map view. Did up yet? Update lose user location. So uh, we're going to go ahead and set the map view map view did update date user location with the location. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go we're going to go ahead and set the uh, map view. So the map view from the delegate. Uh, and we're going to go. We're going to uh, set a region. Uh, so what a region is is it's a small area or an area or a large area of the map um, on the map, on the map kit, which you can either zoom into or zoom out from. However you want to do it, because we want to zoom in nice and close. We're going to set a rectangle which is nice and close to our uh, user's location. So let's go ahead and go map view set region. And we're going to go MK coordinate region with an animation. We don't want to just flick in. If we didn't want, if we do, we just want to flick in and just make it appear like that. Then we can actually go animated no. So what we're going to go ahead and do is set animated to yes. And now we're going to deal with the MK coordinate region. So again, I'm going to open uh, square brackets and go MK coordinate region. Uh, and we're going to go with the uh, region. Uh, I believe it's. It's region make, and we're going to use uh, span. Uh, now, I've opened closed brackets here. I was too hasty on that one. You can ignore me on that one. We don't actually need those closed brackets, so we can go coordinate. My apologies. Um, we can go uh, MK coordinate region make, uh, center coordinate, and the span. So we can get the center coordinate from the user location. It's actually passed into the method. So let's go user location dot coordinate. And there we have our coordinate property. And we're going to have to set up an MK coordinate span just so it knows how far we want this region to span. So let's go MK coordinate span make. And we're going to set the latitude and the longitude. Now, uh, depending on how large or how small this is, basically the larger the latitude and longitude, the further away this region is going to be. So let's set it to 0.1f and 0.1f because these are float values. And believe it or not, we are done. I'm going to load this up. Uh, so we can actually treat this as a normal map, uh, which is great. And then if I go debug, we've just appeared in Apple. And as if by magic, it finds us and absolutely nothing happens because I'm an idiot and I did not set our self dot map view uh, to it. Uh, now I can actually approach this in one of two ways, but I'm going to go with self dot map view and set the region from there. So once again, if I go debug Apple, 
we should now zoom in with an animation, but we don't. Why don't we? Ah, because I'm an idiot. I'm very, very sorry. I completely forgot. We're going to want to set the self map view delegate to self. Now, this is always the thing that always seems to treat me up. I always forget about setting the delegate to the self. And this is a prime example as to how it can trip you up, as it should now work absolutely fine. And it does. And there you have it. So, as you can see, we just saw that lovely animation. It works perfectly, but I don't want to animate. I'm a sad person, and I don't like animations. I'm going to go set that to no, and I'm going to refresh it, load it up again. I'm going to change our location to City Bicycle Ride, and just like that, we are straight in there. So now, from there on, you can pretty much do whatever you like. Um, you can uh, add extra, all kinds of different bits and pieces. I recommend checking out the map view delegate methods, because there's a lot of really exciting stuff in there. Um, really, really interesting things, which I was flicking through actually earlier. Um, you can actually uh, you can actually set up uh, separate cells or separate elements, uh, which will uh, which can be pulled in on the fly, uh, kind of like uh, kind of like cells, um, which I think is really really exciting. If you wanted to say, for example, create a list of locations and then actually import those uh, coordinates onto the map, which is super cool. Um, so yeah, so again, in a nutshell, this is how to set up MapKit in literally less than five or six minutes if you set the delegate right. Thanks very much, guys. As always, I'm Sam Piggott. I am on Twitter under Sam underscore Piggott. And if you need any help with anything that I've talked about today, please get in touch because I'm always happy to help, always at a computer, which is depressing, but whatever. And uh, yeah, I uh, look forward to talking to you about it soon. Hopefully see some of your apps which are invoking the uh, wonderful MapView uh, framework soon. Thanks again, guys. Take care.